from the Maple View Animal Hospital Studios, this is the WHTC Morning News with Gary Stevens and Peg McNichol on 99.7, 1450WHTC and WHTC.com. And we welcome you back to the WHTC Morning News for this Thursday, March 25th. Thursday mornings, we catch up with what is going on in downtown Holland and travel and tourism in the Holland area. It's the Destination Downtown segment. It's presented by the Windmill Restaurant. And we are joined, as we are most Thursday mornings at this time, by the Executive Director of the Holland Area Visitors Bureau. She is Linda Hart. Linda, good morning and welcome back to uh, WHTC. Good morning, Gary. How are you? We are well and ready and raring to go for this Thursday. Um, we're counting now. Uh, uh, a week from, uh, if, I, from, if my addition is right, a week from this, um, the week from today, the, the first, a month later, tulip time starts. And always a question as tulip time approaches, how are the blooms? How are the blooms? So you got an update? <laughs> we do have an update. Um, we're so thankful that... Uh, uh, you know, there's a, there's enough longevity in the parks department uh, and enough experience to be able to look at those tulips and go, you're going to bloom on this date. So we did get an update yesterday um, from our own Steve's Weep. So thank you very much. And um, it looks like downtown because it is a microclimate. Uh, we've talked about that in the past years, the microclimate, especially on the north side of the street or what we call the sunny side of the street, uh, will probably be showing color in two to three weeks. So for all those people who wanna enjoy the downtown, certainly we'll be able to have a chance to get color there. Full bloom most likely is going to be in another month, four weeks. Uh, the lanes, the boulevards, the parks, uh, we're actually looking at that as four to five weeks. Um, sometimes the parks like Windmill Island Gardens, Window on the Waterfront, they actually bloom even a couple of days later, simply because they are out in more of that open area, not necessarily protected like the downtown is with snow melt. So, you know, if, if I do, just like you said, if I do my, uh, my math right on the calendar, we hope to see um, a lot of color by April 30th. So fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. Tulip time begins uh, precisely five weeks from Saturday. Um, let, let, let's see what, what happens with that. Um, obviously, um, with a festival back in uh, operation, even though it is going to be somewhat limited. Uh, let's hope that our uh, fine hotels and motels will be able to see some better numbers after. Uh, Can't be any worse than a year ago, I'll be honest with you. Right. You know, we um, we expected a lower, um, a, 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 a low a first quarter. Uh, it came in a little lower than we wanted to. You know, I feel like just when we think we're turning the corner, you know, and, and moving forward, we don't really quite get through the door. So uh, we were down in occupancies for January and February, um, you know, but again, we expect that just, it was, it was a little bit more of a hardship than we wanted to. Um, March occupancy last year um, was 18%, you know, because that's, you know, you, if you really get much lower than that, it's, you know, maybe we should make some decisions, you know, compared to usually being in the fifties. Uh, so, you know, we're hoping that, you know, as we hit March, um, the weather turns, you know, people are, um, as, as the weather has turned, uh, people are getting out more, you know, the, the downtown, you know, it's busy on the weekends. I know that people are visiting uh, and traveling. Uh, hotel occupancies are starting uh, to creep up. So fingers crossed that as we continue with the spring, we'll continue that upward trend. And finally, Linda, um, of course, you are, you are involved with uh, Holland and Bloom and America in Bloom. And this year, uh, Holland and Bloom is uh, sort of uh, casting its lots with the America in Bloom campaign, as opposed to the Communities in Bloom. The difference, of course, is America in Bloom is a national competition. Communities is an international competition. So you have some news from America in Bloom. Yeah, so um, this is kind of exciting. Holland's always up for a challenge. Uh, America in Bloom is partnered with All American Selections. Uh, you know, a lot of times when you go to a nursery or, you know, Home Depot or some sort of, um, uh, you know, nursery that has got plants for sale, you'll see a, a variety of different planters, um, proven winners, things like that. So All American Selections has chosen, and American Bloom has chosen Holland for a 20 for 20s community challenge. So um, in this trial garden, Holland will receive um, 10 to 12 variety seeds 
of new varieties that are um, that come out for 2021 and it'll be a competition against uh, 20 other communities throughout the country um, as far as you know the quality of the growth the presentation so it's kind of exciting it'll be uh, there's four half moon beds between the top flower and the police department which those um, uh, Emily and the Parks Department is taking good care of. So uh, we'll see a little something different downtown. We won't see it anywhere else because, again, it's trial varieties, but it's kind of exciting. And, you know, we'll see if Holland can, you know, shine up there like we're like we always like to. <laughs> we will see how Holland fares in America in bloom. More information on what's going on in Holland, go to holland.org on the web. Linda Hart from the Holland Area Visitors Bureau, thank you very much for your time today and keeping us involved with some of the things going on in the Holland area. Wish you and everybody at the uh, CVB well, and if all goes well, let's do this again next Thursday morning. Sounds great, Gary. Have a good day. Thank you very much, Linda Hart on 99.7 and 1450 WHTC.